Good morning everyone, Muriel here back with a project to show you. I did finish the cards that I wanted to make. I showed a couple of days ago on my Instagram channel and I'll show that to you now. This was um, boop, 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 a bunch of scraps that I showed on my channel. It was the last papers from the spring collection by Echo Park and the Easter, Celebrate Easter collection. I had done envelopes, I had done totes, I also did cards that I sent out and here what was left, I managed to create three more cards for um, some house we're going over to tomorrow, some extended family. So let me show you first kind of what I used. So the only thing left from this collection, it's spring by Echo Park, is the sticker sheet. And um, that's going to be fun to use. There is, um, here is the collection here. Alicia Whitcomb, excuse me, not Lori Whitlock. So this was a $5.99 kit from Tuesday morning that I picked up. So I do have this sticker sheet left and I think there is one more, yeah, there is uh, one more paper in here. It's not even a full 12 by 12, but really cute. It's striped on one side and it's green. It may look yellow to you, but it's green on the other. And um, I'm going to use it to make some embellishments with from, where is the die that I'm going to use? thought I had it out, but if it pops up, I will show you. So then I have, um, oh, here's the die. This is the die I'm dying to try. I picked it up some time ago and I'm going to use that to make some of these rain boots embellishments. So I do still have some ephemera from the Easter pack by Echo Park. A few pieces left. They'll probably be for next year. Although I need to make a gift bag so but it needs to be a birthday gift bag so. And then there's some ephemera left from the spring. There is one note card um, and then three of the four by six uh, cut aparts. So that is it. I'm glad to say that this is all that I have left. I have definitely challenged myself and um, made a lot. Even the envelopes that I made, I forgot about those. I made those too. So happy about that. Um, this bowl from Tuesday morning, from March, um goodness, Target. I ate, I used my uh, roll sets that Natalie sent to me and I keep them in here. So thank you, Natalie. Um, I bought these some time ago from Alina Crafts, I believe. They are the cutest little tassels ever. I think I saw them on Scrap Diva 29's channel. And I used one on one of the cards. Um, these are the spare parts. I think I showed these. I was able to use these. If I didn't, I did pull these out uh, by Paper Studio. These are the adorable uh, puppies and they're just great for using as fillers. So I used one doily. It wasn't this color, but this came in a pack from Michael. So it had this beautiful green and then a blue, a teal. So I was able to use a teal one. I used two flowers from this pack, which I showed that I had pulled out. I used two flowers from this pack of Prima flowers. And I used one of these dies, and I can't believe it broke. The stem broke off. I don't even understand why. But this is a die from MFT, and the little stem broke off. I still have it, so it will go into the uh, machine when I cut it out as well, because um, I'm not going to just throw that away. So, and then yesterday I showed also on my channel how I took all the remaining scraps. I mean, it was really down to the scraps. First I had big pieces, then I had scraps. And I took those and I, um, let's see here. I pulled out some punches and I went to town. So, let's see here. So there were the leftover scraps, I hope you can see that. And then what I did was took my punches and cut out a bunch of, and I'll show you that now, uh, dragonflies and flowers. And plus it's double sided, I can just choose which side I want to use. So these will definitely be fun for more spring cards or just to use on some projects. I'm going to be making some memo boards, so I think these will come in handy. And then the one die that I had 
that I have has three punches on it and they kind of punch out like that. Where's the second one at? So that's going to be fun to put together and um, I just put them here in this iris case. So I really have used the heck out of that paper pad. So let me show you these cards. This one is the Easter one that I created and this one is four and a half by five four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, I use that um, strip method, I guess I call it, from Pop Paper Fizz. Fizz paper, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you just take the, you know, whatever strips you have left from your collection, and I just use them this way. Normally I do them cross, but I use them the long way. And then I put a doily on top of that. That's that uh, teal green doily. And then here is one of Natalie's... Um, crepe paper rosette and then here is one of the cut aparts from the Easter ephemera pack you are such a funny bunny and here's how I use that little um, tassel this is a Tim Holtz paper clip I had to dig far and hard I knew I had some and I found them they're just really cute and they're half the size so you really don't see the clip you see more of the tassel and I just use a pink tassel there and then the flower, I did put some stickles on it, just a little, just to give it a little, as you turn it, a little uh, shimmer. And I have some, <clears throat> excuse me, some um, teal thread. And there are the poppies that I used. And then here are the leaves cut out with some um, green paper from MFT, which I'm running low on, so I need to uh, get some more. And then when you, I did do the inside. It just looks like that. Again, just using all the scraps. Um, this card had a carrot on it and then two of these little pieces here. And then on the back, I just used one of the um, ephemera pieces. It says family. So that's that card. And I'm not going to make envelopes because the ladies that I give these cards to, they love them in the plastic bags because they actually save them. Yeah, that's kind of strange. But these, this family, they save all the cards. So here is the second one. This is more of a spring card. The uh, cut apart says create your own sunshine. And um, again, I just use some uh, a green background here. And that was from this paper pad, uh, the Cottontail Collection. I guess if you saw my first video, I didn't have a lot of uh, background papers. So I did pull out the green one and the pink one. There's a kind of a solid blue, so this was the green one that I used. And then I used a pink one. There's a peach one, so that would be good. Oh, there's the pink one that I used for, for this. <clears throat> so I layered it with two of the pattern papers, and then I did a band across with some more of the paper. Um, I popped this up on some foam tape. Not tape, but it's more of a... Um, 11 sheet of paper. I get it at Michael's. So it looks like this. So you can peel this side off and you can see it has some dimension to it. So it just kind of keeps the card <clears throat> straight and um, stiff and not bend. So this one here you can see I use the flowers. These flowers here I picked up uh, some time ago at Jolie's. At, excuse me, they're by Jolie's but I picked them up at Tuesday morning. They look like this. And what I did was with the white ones, I popped the yellow off and I put some of the seed beads uh, on them. I just put some glue and then I just poured the seed beads on. So just to change them up. So I have those on opposite sides. And then I have a green paper flower here. Uh, this was from a D-stash um, that I got from Louisa. And then I have the poppies back there and then the pink threads and the leaves again. And then I have two poppies here in the corner. And this one here is also done on the inside. It's just really simple. The last little cut apart sticker here. And on the back, I have that piece there from the ephemera pack. And of course, I will put my name there. And again, I said the Easter cards don't need a bunch of uh, space for, for writing. Not unless you want to, but I just, for the Easter cards, have been just putting my name and... Um, who the person it's going to. Okay, so now the third one. Same thing. This time I switched it. I put the cluster on the left as opposed to this one where it's on the right. 
So it looks like this. Again, just layering the paper. I did put uh, back here a sticker that says spring with a um, enamel dot, a heart-shaped enamel dot. And this one is the same thing. The flowers on the opposite side. Another paper flower. And I used some of the cream thread. And this one here, I was made for sunny days. Really cute. Inside looks like that. That's one of those three by uh, two by three or three by three cards um, from the ephemera pack. And I'll just write to and from here. And then on the back, using another piece of the ephemera. So my three cards are done. They will go in the plastic bags. The paper is done. The paper pad, there is no more, which I'm happy so that I can start working on another paper pad so I'm feeling really good about that so I thank you guys for watching please leave a comment down below um we got a busy day today we have nails to do and then we have hair to do but I'm sure I will be back in here because I want to start um altering something I don't know what but I may start with some memo boards um I have a couple of those um I have a couple of these left over these cork boards that you can get at Ikea and I think they're really cute this one here I bought home because I I pull it out uh, for 4th of July or Memorial Day and um, I have it on my desk just a really cute little um, desk decor so I have some more of these so I'm thinking about making some for spring and I have lots of felt flowers so that's going to be my next project so I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Until my next video, bye now.